What's up guys, Bearded here, and welcome to another episode. Is this an episode? I think I'm just including this in the Adventures of Bearded Kitty series, but uh, today we're actually going to be putting my bike back together. So, I got the new brake rotor in, uh, in the mail. It is the uh, Tusk Typhoon brake rotor for the 2009 RMZ250. I really like how their website works. They basically, they'll, they'll give you OEM parts. You basically just have to put in your year, make and model and uh, they'll give you options as to what works. So I don't have a drill bit to put these on, but it shouldn't be too hard. I'm just gonna be using the uh, Allen keys that I have, which are metric. I believe it takes the, it's either the biggest one or the smallest one. It's, it's one of these anyway. So first we're going to stick that back on and uh, then we got to try and get the wheel back on. And then after that, we just got to make sure it's all tight and snug. And then I think I'm going to take it for a quick test run, though I won't be on dirt. Um, there's a lot of snow outside right now, so I'm basically going to be ripping around in the snow in the field next door, see how that works out. Uh, I've never driven dirt bike in snow before, so it'll be interesting. But either way, we'll get started here and uh, go from there, I guess. All right, so I also have the new uh, bolts that I ordered. It's the same type as before, um, the weird, it's the weird uh, Allen key type, but they got Loctite on them. I'm just going to go ahead and use them because I don't think I'm going to have to replace this anytime soon. Uh, might be a bitch to get them back off. I don't think I'm going to be able to do what I wanted to do with using a different type of bolt, making it easier. I mean, maybe in the future I can switch it up, but we'll see. <laughs> But yeah, I need to uh, I need to get myself a bit for my impact wrench like that. Now the only thing I'm concerned about is the brake calipers themselves. I think they're still good, but considering I'm not going to be riding this all uh, summer or winter, sorry winter. What, what what season is it again? All right, now I gotta get the wheel on. I think I'm going to need some bricks or something to bring it up. I'm gonna try a couple logs. I don't know if that's gonna be enough. Okay, something's weird here. The rotor's looking a little too wide for the brakes. Try it again. There you go. Now I like that wheel's gonna come back a little bit. So push push the wheel up. All right, guys, well, I'm just going to be holding the microphone for this bit. Um, we got the wheel back on. It's spinning nicely. I hear the brakes rubbing a little bit, but I think it's just it's going to wear in a little bit. I think uh, there was a bit 
at the start of the summer where I kind of tighten the brakes, so I think maybe I'll have to loosen them. But I'm thinking now we're going to get the bike started. I'm going to head out into the field, uh, maybe uh, mess around a little bit. The only thing is, it's like I said, there's snow, so I might, uh, might be a bit slippy. But uh, I'll get the bike started and we'll, we'll go from there, see, uh, see how things go. So there you guys have it. That is my bike in full force. Uh, like I said, I got a hair in my mouth. Hang on. So like I said, it uh, the brakes are a little bit tight. This thing does much better in the snow than I thought it was gonna. I mean, it gets caked in snow. <laughs> um, and I got snow all over the back of my jacket there. But that, that was really fun. I enjoyed that. It uh, made some tracks in the snow. I first went off that way and it was actually more slippery than going in the actual field. That was really fun. I almost want to put like, I almost want to get spare tires and like put studs in them and just fuck around in the snow. But for this year, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some fuel stabilizer in this and uh, run it a little bit, make sure it's all throughout the system. Yeah, I think I'm going to be putting it away for the, the winter and then come springtime, like I said, I might get new brake pads on it but yeah that's that's my bike all right guys well that is it for me for this video i'm glad that i finally got it back together as you can probably i don't know if you can see it but it is it's not really cold out but it, because of the snow and it's warming up it's you can see your breath like crazy just talking but uh that was really fun the snow is now melting off the bike so uh, i think i'm gonna like just quickly brush it off clean it up a bit so here's the one other thing uh, I think I put the axle in backwards. Uh, I know that sounds odd. I don't think it's really possible to put it in backwards. 
But basically the side where the kickstand used to go is now on the other side. So I think I should have put it in from the left or yeah, the left side instead of the right side. I kind of did the right side just because it was easier, but um, yeah, I'm kind of noticing that the kickstand is going to be on the wrong side now. It's uh, it's just a makeshift kickstand. I think it was it's homemade. It's like, it was kind of just like a thing that's been welded together. Uh, it's even slightly bent. I don't even know if you can tell. But yeah, I, I got to fix that because, uh, I mean, it probably won't take me too long. It's just take it out, switch, tighten it back up. But anyways, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm excited to for spring to come and put this into more use and uh, maybe put some more things on it. I forgot to say this in the last video. I thought of cleaning up and repainting the rims to black. I think that would look better than the silver that's on there now. Anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy. Feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. As always, guys, bye for meow. God, I hate this freaking cat.